Hey, what's going on YouTube? Midnight Crawler back up in this piece with another episode of A Demented Corner. Do have a few pickups and a giant unboxing from the wonderful Steve Horror, aka Steve Bennett. And uh, yeah, digging this Brewski Reaper Madness Black. Might have caught me uh, rating it, reviewing it on Brews and Views. But uh, yeah, still enjoying the six pack. Really damn good beer. And uh, let's get on with the pickups. First up, I picked up the editor, courtesy of a great friend, Rachel. She's in uh, from San Antonio, sleazy San Antonio. And uh, we always hang out here in Austin and attend a lot of uh, Austin Horror Society screenings. And uh, yeah, she hooked me up with the editor. Fucking fantastic film. Uh, loved it. Uh, loved its ode to Giallo films and uh, Italian cinema. A uh, big fan of Astron Six, of course. Just loved it. Uh, so much fun. And I'm uh, gonna watch it again very soon. Only seen it once, so definitely needs a uh, deserves repeat viewings. Uh, next up, I picked up Blood Rage uh, from a awesome friend from Victoria, Texas. Uh, his name is Kevin Clark. Uh, met him um, when I used to attend uh, Theater 13 screenings down there in Victoria. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Screened a lot of uh, 80s flicks. And uh, that's where I met him. He had an extra copy of Blood Rage. Said uh, I could have one. And I was like, sweet. Mailed it to me. And oh man, I just loved it. I had never seen this movie before. I have always wanted to. And um, never got around to it. So I was very, very stoked to um have such a beautiful arrow edition you know how arrow does it i'm late to the party i'm sure everybody has already talked about this but can't wait to uh watch the blu-ray cut i did watch the dvd and uh yeah i need to upgrade to the region free blu-ray player very soon all right so uh yeah speaking of uh theater 13 I did score a little flyer for their next event, which they moved from Victoria, Texas to Austin, Texas. And, um, yeah, there's going to be an awesome bucket of blood screening, bloody finger painting contest. You know, just love it, man. Awesome little hole in, hole in the wall bar where this is going to be, uh, uh, you know, screened at Badlands. Uh, had a couple screenings there already and it's, it's fucking awesome location. Yeah. So, uh, Yesterday, uh, well, the day before yesterday, I did attend a Austin Horror Society screening of Blood Diner. That was fucking fantastic. Scored these little buttons from a, a friend and local artist, Tommy. He also put out a really awesome, uh, well, I'll get to that later, but check it out. Evil as fuck. Yeah. These are like awesome little, um, you know, pins that I can uh, give away when uh, to homies when I send out packages. And I love, I'm into aliens, so I like that one. We own you. <laughs> awesome as hell. Yeah, Tommy, uh, you know, he, helped, uh, he helps uh, put out um, Haunted Horror on from IDW. And, uh, yeah, so he's a really cool cat. He knows his uh, old school cinema. We always talk about off-the-wall cinema. Like, uh, we were talking about Filipino horror yesterday, the uh, day before yesterday. And it was just so much fun. Yeah, so that's that's that so now let's get on with the epic unboxing now sadly this was uh filmed earlier and uh it did not take for some reason youtube the processing wouldn't go through and i accidentally deleted the video thinking it, everything was going to go you know check out sadly it didn't it got caught in processing limbo waited a day nothing happened so it's already been opened and uh Let's just get into uh, what I got. All right, so first up is Brain Dead. Yeah, this is, a, of course, Dead Alive here in America. Peter Jackson classic. Now, this is the um, the true uncut edition. This has a the queen scene, I believe. There's a queen, uh, the queen of England, I believe. Um, the American audiences, like the even the Blu-ray that I have, doesn't include that scene it's cut so this is the true uncut edition so i'm really stoked um uh, just to even have it added to the uh collection awesome as fuck and uh, like again this is coming from steve bennett 
Steve fucking horror uh, from the UK connection on Facebook uh, group. And he's also a part of a demented domain and anchor Bay collectors. So yeah, he's, he's, he, man, he's uh, doing some things out there as far as cinema and uh, man, brain dead. Fucking awesome. Yes. So moving on, we got also scum. Uh, we talked about this flick in the past and, um, uh, he hooked me up with the Blu-ray copy. So really looking forward to this. I did catch a, a couple scenes on YouTube and it looks fantastic. Yeah, who's the daddy? A very tough, violent movie. Knife edge filmmaking. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Hold on, let me take a little drink of this beer real quick. Okay. Next up, the Evil Dead, a full and cut version. This is a sweet Anchor Bay release from the UK. Definitely gonna, not going to keep this sealed. No need to open it. Fuck yeah, man. Check it out. Love me some Anchor Bays, man. Fucking sweet, man. No need to talk about that. You guys all know about that. All right. So next up, I have Dawn of the Dead on Blu-ray. Uh, now, we did talk about this. Uh, I've only ever had Dawn of the Dead on VHS. Never bothered to upgrade or ever see it on DVD or Blu-ray. Uh, this edition just means a lot to me. So I need to replace my VHS player, actually, which I lost during a drunk shenanigans um, at, a, at a horror haunt <laughs> last year but uh anyways um yeah so i've only seen it on vhs i mean and on tv i've never ever seen it on dvd and he hooked me up with the blu-ray edition i cannot wait to see how fucking clean it looks so yeah definitely gonna upgrade to the region free blu-ray player very fucking soon uh this is actually i could watch this on my blu-ray player i believe it's um it's not code locked so there you goes. it says region a b c so fuck yeah it looks like i'm good to go that's gonna get a watch very soon i've actually haven't seen dawn of the dead in a in a while so probably probably been a year so let's get on with what else i got and here we go we got dog fucking soldiers <laughs> believe it or not i have never ever seen dog soldiers I put it off because I was going to pick up the uh, steel book and I kept putting it off and never got around to it. It got lost in the, my Amazon shuffle and uh, he hooked me up with a fucking beautiful Asian release. I mean, anything Asian with the lettering, uh, just fucking, I just love how, um, you know, how obscure it looks. It just looks fucking fantastic. Look at that. Dog soldiers, man. I'm actually going to watch this tonight. I have to. I've never seen it. So my dog soldier's cherry will be fucking popped. Can't wait. All right, next up. It's a very, very beautiful edition of The Last House on the Left. Oh, my goodness. This is fucking beautiful. Oh, man. Just look at that fucking cover art. Oh, man. It's fucking gorgeous. Oh, fucking beautiful. It goes good with, um, actually, with the uh, poster art that Mr. Cinema Junkie hooked me up with. Oh, man. Just gotta love that. Bam. All right. So, uh, let's, let's, let's take a look at this bad boy. All right. Uh-oh. Got a loose disc. I was messing with it earlier, so... There we go. Oh, man. Fuck yeah, man. Disc one. Got the feature. Disc two. Alternate cut extras. Going to pieces. Little documentary there. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Man, this thing is fucking packed. With all kinds of goodies. Let's take a look at the artwork underneath. Oh, hell yeah, man. Fucking beautiful edition. Love it, man. Fucking thank you so much, Steve, man. This is fucking just 
beautiful, gorgeous, man. All right, let's put these bad boys back, and we'll continue with the chaos. There's more goodies in there, man. Can't believe it. It doesn't end. All right, next up, we have a hard-on box. Man, Homeboy always hooks me up with a hard-on box. Uh, a few in the past, if you guys have seen my collection, he hooked me up with the Primutos. Beautiful hard-on box. The fucking, my favorite f film of all time, Black Devil Doll. Love that one so much. And he hooked me up with the Boogeyman hard on box as well. Just beautiful, beautiful hard on boxes. So yeah, we have here the Army of Darkness, man. Fucking gorgeous as fuck. Oh man, so the the lighting on the recording is not doing it justice, but it is fucking beautiful. Yes, fucking yeah, sexy as fuck. Damn. All right, and he also hooked me up with one last fucking... Oh, he hooked me up with two more things. But this is the last uh, film, uh, DVD, Blu-ray, or DVD he hooked me up with. Uh, it's a necromantic hard-on box. Oh, man, look at that. Is that gorgeous or what? Wow, oh, man. This is such a fucking beautiful surprise. Number 183 of 333. Very exclusive. I'm happy to be part of the part of the VIP crew and, and owning this. Oh man, look at that. That's fucking sexy too. Check out the disc. Oh man, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful man. Oh, I fucking love it. Damn, sexy as fuck. Let's put this bad boy over here real quick. And he also hooked me up with a Cannibal Holocaust t-shirt from Rotten Cotton. Now, I do own this print from Rotten Cotton, but mine's not in color. This is an exclusive edition, colored in, very fucking beautiful. And the reason why this is an exclusive print is because it's double-sided. This is from the Grand House Releasing Tour uh, they were doing across the usa from in 2001 way before i started collecting horror again uh but man and austin texas is here of course I'm sure they went to an alamo draft house fucking beautiful man I like how the uh the canadian uh screenings were all sold out <laughs> fucking awesome man i actually wore this the other night so I, this won't get washed at all. It's going to be in my uh, unwashed, uh, you know, collection of shirts. Fucking beautiful Cannibal Holocaust t-shirt. Yes, that is a package from Steve Horror, a.k.a. Steve Bennett. Appreciate it so much, man. I do have your goodies ready. Waiting to order you one Blu-ray, which we talked about. We'll get that out to you as soon as possible. And um, that's going to be it for Demented Corner, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.